team, ground forces are stalled and cannot get to the LZ. It's just the two of you. We can just talk about whatever. It's just for the fans, you know, the ones that are gonna support us. Well, uh, you know what we're trying to do and stuff. I'm just going pistol right now. There you go. I'm gonna buy my 44 right now. I just buy more ammo. I love. I wanna go. I love doing this. Too. Pistol get only. My, get my gun skill up with my 44. I love. I love doing survival for that. I don't even really play survival mode anymore. So we're doing pistols only? Uh, at first, yeah. I don't even like playing survival mode to like, you know, to go Press far. Me. I just do it so that way I can, uh, you know, just to get my 44 skill up. Yeah. Well, oh, well like, you know, now that we're recording, you know, tell us more about you, like, you know, how you started playing and stuff like that. I started playing, uh... I started playing, um... I played all the Call of Duties, but I didn't play the multiplayer really. It was mostly like, you know, for fun, yeah, casual yeah, player. Yeah, campaign and stuff, right? And then uh, I really started getting. I wanted to have my kid, you know, and I, I had. I was a single dad, and I had to stay up late, you know, and I just have. I'd have my infant son on my lap, kind of thing, you know, and I would just play back company two, you know, like all night. I started getting really good at it. You know, and then I started, then I started uh, playing Black Ops because you know I just heard it was good. And then that's when I really started getting into the multiplayer on uh, on uh, Call of Duty. And then uh, you nice. know, when did you like realize you wanted to take a step more far than just you know playing? Well, Online. I started playing Mass Effect 3 <laughs> multiplayer, and there's a, there's a really huge team aspect to it. And, uh, you know, little by little I started getting better and better at it, and then started climbing up on the leaderboard, and then, and then after a while, all of a sudden I was number one in the world. And, uh, there's not really, like, you know, competitions for Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, you know, it's their first multiplayer, and so, uh... And so I wanted to do something that I could take it a little bit further. I really didn't like the matchmaking in Battlefield 3, so I, I, I thought, you know, I'd just go back to Modern Warfare uh, Modern Warfare 3. You know, I had the game, but I didn't really get into it too strong after Black Ops. But, uh, you know, Black Ops 2 is coming out soon, so uh, I figured, you know, I'd, I'd try to get a team together or get with a team, you know, for the last couple of months of Modern Warfare 3, and then really, really hit it, hit it strong when, when Black Ops comes out. And, Kind of my game plan, you know, is you know our team is really gonna, you know, with this two months really is just gonna be us. I think uh, getting our team synergy down, you know, getting the chemistry down, getting our shot up, you know, and uh, when Black Ops comes out, I think that we're gonna be really strong, man. I think that's when uh, that's when shit's gonna hit the fan. Yeah, I mean we've been practicing, you know, we getting to know each other more and stuff like that, you know, trying to people to get to know us too, you know, which is. Um, you know, catch your play just like them, we're just trying to take the, you know, the high road on it. Which is, you know, trying to go pros and stuff and, you know, all this support, like, it's really helping us so far. It's gonna be a long road, man, it's, it's not gonna be easy. You know, you got teams with teams yeah, like Optic, but, like OBA, I mean, and all those guys, you know, like, they've been playing together for a long time. I mean, Optic, all those guys, they, they probably play, they pretty much have played every single Call of Duty there is, but they've been playing together for three years, you know. I, I think that, you know, I don't think it's going to take us three years to go pro, but, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be... A, yeah, even if, you know, if we get known and stuff, it's, it's going to be good. So right now we're on wave four, you know. Trying to hang. We're not even trying to hang in there, we're already good. I've been with my piss of the whole freaking time. I've made it to 44 on this, but you can't really run and gun. Well, you can, <clears throat> but it's, uh, you, you gotta, like, 
like run, run, run. <laughs> Get them all behind you and then drop like, you know, like Predator missiles on them and airstrikes. But uh, when we made it to 44 on this map, we uh, we camped a few story over there on the front of the market. I had two sentry guys watching the front door, one person upstairs and one person halfway up the staircase, uh, you know, giving the sentry guys support. You can do that if you want, if you want to give it a try. You gotta buy a light machine gun each and then get like a striker shotgun or something like that. So that's gonna be like an hour and a half of the gameplay if you do that. This guy trying to touch me. There you go. Your mic's giving a little bit. Yeah, of I don't play much. I think spec ups. Your mic's giving a little bit of feedback. Uh, do you have the vibration turned on your controller? Um. Yeah. yeah. That's, what it, that's what it is. Does it bother you to play with that off? <clears throat> um. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do it all the time. It's like it's when not, a little bit of static comes up. I don't think it's that. I, ha I it's not that. It's that I have the mic, um, the voice channel. I have it on both, so it's not neither speakers or not the other one. Yeah. Oh my God! Right now, deal with that chopper. You deal with the small fries. I'll take the chopper. Oh my God. <laughs> no. One down. There you ever go. get into zombies on Black Ops? Um, nah, I really didn't play much Black Ops or anything. To be honest, this is my first Call of Duty. Did you play any other first person shooters before this? Yeah, Battlefield oh, 3 right and Battlefield Bad Company right 2. On. Yeah, that was a, I was definitely. A yeah, that's what got me into FPS yeah. games. Battlefield is an amazing game, man. Like, I I know that uh, a lot of people that have gone from Battlefield to Call of Duty, like, it, they play a lot better when they play Call of Duty. Going from Call of Duty to Battlefield, the learning curve is a lot different. It's, it's a lot more difficult going from from Battlefield to uh, going from this to Battlefield than it is going from Battlefield to this. Down. Come on, dog. There you go. There you go. Rearm if you need to. Did you have the same gamer tag when you seven. played uh, Back Company 2? Yeah, uh, since I got my Xbox, it was probably like in 2009 or 2010, somewhere under that I got my Xbox. Where were you into? And were you into Rush or were you more of a Conquest player? Uh, mostly Rush, I guess. I mean, I like to, you know, the adrenaline of you know, being next to the bomb and yeah. just waiting for it, you know, to blow up and people coming on me. I, uh, the dog? I was really into uh, squad. I played a lot of squad rush more than anything. Dominant Get out of squad here. Rush. I'm bleeding out. I got you, don't worry. There, I got him. Oh, you have a self revive, right? Yeah. This is such a good way to get you, to get to know your maps. Um, like, that's why I really like Black Ops because Black Ops had training mode where you could actually go uh, against uh, against uh, computer AI and uh, select different difficulties. It's like a regular team deathmatch, you know, like against a regular 66, or you can actually even go like 2v9, 3v8, you know, like that. Like a 3v9 actually. 4v8, 5v7, you know, you can do that. 